<laughs> well, let's they talk me, about bro. the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the fellas were looking mad prescient on the last episode <laughs> when we talked about it might be <laughs> it might be closing time on the Warriors dynasty because man, <laughs> did, did they ever shut that shit down in Sacramento? Um, did you guys enjoy? the end of that era of basketball or were you sad about it? And I feel like you may have different answers. Tyler, why don't you go first? Um, <laughs> I, I'm, Tyler's I don't been in the churches I'm... for a long time though. So his experience is different than mine. Listen, yeah, I've been yeah, gave I'm, up on listen, Twitter. You feel me? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm never going to feel sorry for the Warriors, <laughs> right? You got four championships in eight years. You won three and four. A, a lot of people are going to say you are the best basketball team of all time. The KD era Warriors. Right, like they for sure get my vote, uh, and it's like, yes, okay, the dynasty is probably ended. It all dynasties end. It happens to everybody. Like I, I, I don't have any, any remorse or any pity for them. I do think that the moment where, where Clay was like soaking it all in was was was, was, was a bit, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that pulled on my heart strings a little. But then I was also like, God damn, bro, you could at least hit one shot, motherfucker. You went like oh for ten, like out there, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like, 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 what are you looking back at? Like, you, you ain't do shit out there, but. <laughs> It's but, definitely back there, nigga. Don't turn around, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah, forward, moving, nigga. Dog. Put the yeah, towel on your the motherfucker. There. <laughs> but yeah, it's I'm 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 never going to feel sorry for them because they sure as fuck ain't feel sorry for anybody when they were beating the fuck out the league with the best fucking team we ever saw with fucking Steph and KD on the same fucking squad. So no, I'm not gonna feel sorry for this. Come on, man. I don't. I felt bad. I think basketball was funner when they were kicking people's ass. You feel me? And it hasn't felt the same. As much as they scarred me, I watched so much basketball watching them and it was so beautiful to see. It's kind of wild. Them getting older makes me feel old too. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm making this shit personal, dog. Like, damn, Steph, 37, how old does that make me? It's like when your shorty, get, you know, the young motherfuckers is old now. God damn, bitch. That make me old <laughs> as hell. You know what I mean? So, yeah, G, but like, well, yeah, watching that, dog, you know what I mean? It, 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 I wasn't happy like I thought I would when they were, when they were like the world beaters. You know, I didn't have that experience. I, when it, I knew it in one day and I thought I'd be excited, like, like Tyler. Like, <laughs> no, I don't have to be the nerds in my mitches anymore. You know what if, I mean? If, if, you're, if you're in the trenches long enough, you don't mind the other side. You know what? Like, you're for sort sure. of for mustard gas. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just I, like, I, I, I give me the I fuck out of France. And, and got, you know, got a different view. You know what I mean? Like, if I was still in their fight with them weird ass warrior nerds, nigga, I'd be like, fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, but nah, man, it's different. So you kind of felt different seeing them go out like that. Uh, as final proof that the world does not give a fuck about you, no matter how important in your, in your world you may be, Clay trying to have that moment of reflection of just like, damn. One of the craziest careers in NBA history, really, like one of the craziest dynasties. He's trying to take that moment in, and the Sacramento Kings Arena is playing. This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, and I'm feeling right. <laughs> that motherfucker's <is> torn. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it. grave, dog. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. Confetti falling, you know, <laughs> the beam is lit. Like <laughs> it's that's how it is, though. That's how it always is, bro. One team crying, and another motherfucker partying, bro. How it always is. That's why we love it. But what's interesting about this too is like the Warriors are not a bad team. This was not a. It's, this is not a bad season. They were like they were like ten games over five hundred, nine or ten games over five hundred. You know, what I mean, if they're in the East, they're, they're in the Six. They're a victim, of the, they're a victim playing, of the Western play, Conference. Playing the Bucks, you know what I'm saying, who don't have Giannis, have a real chance, but they're not. They're, you know, in the in the West where not only are there good basketball teams, there's good young basketball teams. Yes. They're only going to get better. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they're, not, they're just... A, it's you know, one of, it's why it's so hard to evaluate yeah. them as like as a basketball product this year. Because like you said, they're 10 games over 500. And while granted, it's entirely Draymond Green's fault that he missed all of yeah. those games. Careful. Since when he came back, they, <laughs> when he came back, they were top ten in offensive efficiency, defense efficiency, like wins across. Like they were like one of the best teams in the league when he plays on the court. Even even with the fact that they went out sad. So it's I I can understand why like Warriors fans are like, I mean some most just want Clay gone and want Kerr fired because those people are you know crazy. But I, I don't, can understand I can't, why. I'm sorry, I don't get the. 
the Steve Kerr hater. Crazy. The Kerr stuff. I'm crazy. Not, I do not it. get that crazy. shit. Mad in it. Do you see what the Bucks are going through now with two incre- <laughs> like the God-tier Lakers? players? The Lakers? There's there's so many the Celtics great teams last year? with, <laughs> with bum-ass coaches, bro. There's not that there's many not good coaches many coaches. In the Hold on, on the tight, brother. You know, period, 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 period. But I think the best they could do is this. They're stuck in NBA purgatory in the West. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The best they can yeah. do is like squeeze into the playoffs at best, exit, ex- exit early as a decent NBA team because they're playing in the West. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just sad. This is how they go out as just basic bitches when they was like the baddest bitch on the planet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For so long, G. But and also, late, Steph is what, 37? I said the late I, I, 30s comes for all of us, John. Bro. I mean, he looks good. I mean, he's had great moments, but also I think that shit that, with, like, with Draymond kind of, like, lost his shit, Steph is 37. That motherfucker wasn't just hurt. He was like, I'm so fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm too old for this shit. You feel me? You're like, I, that, I, I get that energy, dog. I get that energy, G. You feel me? So Why are we yeah, still man. having the same we fucking bro, argument after 15 years? You're 35. You're 35, <laughs> Draymond. You know better, bro. You know better. No, that, he, that man was tired, dog. Yeah, you been so tired. You been so tired when you don't want to cry. He got kids, all this shit, bro. He away from his shorties during the season, and he got to deal with this type of shit. I get it. At 37? Come on, man. It's already hard. Your body hurting already. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, Stephanie having big cool substitute teacher who y'all push too far energy when he has those notes. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, 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 hold up, man. We went, to, we went a little too far, you know, but... but um, I but wanted to pu- let you have free time today. I right, told right, you right, I wanted right, you right. to have free time, and now you got the fucking principal in here talking I tried to, to be cool. I tried to be cool. You feel right. me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and on the lines of that, you know, there was the, the post-game conversation where he was just like, you know, they asked, hey, do you want to say everybody come back? Blah, 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 blah. He was like, I, I just want us to do what we need to do to win. I was like, whoa. Like that, those are harsh words coming from, from, from fucking Steph, right? That's as controversial as Steph is going to get with you. Like that, to me, that was big motherfucker, big three nigga. It's just big me energy right there on that quote. Like he was like, bro, <laughs> sure. bro, fuck this friendship shit. Get me some fucking help. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, sure. and like, I, like, yeah, and these, I, and these I get are the guys. It. I get it. I and we had it. a run. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I'm. I mean, it's 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 so interesting to see what they're gonna do this summer because it's not an easy fix there, bro. It's it's not like you know j- you're just one piece away. You're just one guy away. They've got so many things to 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 fix. I feel like you've got to get another score there. I feel like you've got to get another perimeter defender there. You know, there was a point where Clay was both of those guys, which is why he was so valuable, right? He was both those and guys. And they had one. pool too, when he was looking good too, until he got yeah. you know what I'm saying until last year. You yeah, know what I mean? So. Like crazy. That we, we, we had seen the pickups they had, and we were thinking, like, these guys have elongated what they've already, you know what I mean? They stretched out and did what we thought they couldn't do was set themselves up for the future to still be competing, and all that fell apart. But that's, 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 that's life, and that's basketball, man. It happens at some point, and it looked like it's happened. So, crazy, crazy. That's life. That's Is life. my Wi-Fi coming I, up I again? I want to uh, obviously shout out to the Sacramento Kings. Very curious. Yeah. <laughs> yes he can't even his wi-fi is too fucked up for just go just go his, for it his Mike. wi-fi just is too fucked up Mike. for him to hear me say his wi-fi is fucked up um but <laughs> i hear you i'm just shout out to the king we'll talk about the, uh, the, the last play playing games in a second uh but i want to talk about nick wright uh <laughs> nick wright clearly with the whole household asleep did like a the night before Christmas like whisper storytelling <laughs> into the ears of all the Warriors Twitter spaces last night. And it was one of the funniest things I've ever heard because he was just like, I don't think you understand how broken your whole franchise is. You're trying to pin this on Steve Kerr, but you're the foolish ones. Like it was just it was so fucking funny. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, a masterclass, and of course, the, the clip that that that's been going viral was when there was that one Golden State fan was like, "We watch all eighty two games. We know our team. We I know this roster that. in and out." And then and then Nick was like, "Okay, you know that's the you know authority challenge fallacy right there. You know, hit it with some psychology <laughs> shit." And he basically said, "Okay, well by that logic, if you watch all eighty two games and you know your team, wouldn't you say that the 
the the coaching staff and the front office that watches all 82 games and it's there day in and day out with these with these guys in practices and in film sessions is a bit more familiar with the roster than you are and there was a resounding no no from that fucking show. like 30 motherfuckers chimed in and said no no, and, Unmute, yeah, that's, no. Yeah, right? <laughs> that shit was so wild to me and look look i no, I understand fans, you know, not agreeing with front office moves or agreeing with coaching decisions and rotating decisions and shit. But you have to understand you are not more familiar with these rosters and, and the talent there than these guys are, right? Like you can say, okay, there's a blind spot here. I don't know why you, they, this the, the coaching staff doesn't see this or why isn't the, our front office going after this guy? Like he would fit perfectly. Of course, you can you can criticize, you know, like that. But to say that you are more familiar with the roster and more familiar with, the, with, with you know, the talent and the pieces there just because you watch 82 games while these people are there living this day in and day out every second of the fucking day. That's ludicrous, bro. It's, it was great. I really thank so thankful to Nick because it was a perfect, it was a perfect nightcap to that evening. It was just him <laughs> whispering just like Japanese death poems <laughs> over the whole, over the, over the whole franchise. <laughs> and just like, <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoyed it. The 82 game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the playing tournament through the finals, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same-game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. I still feel like the Nuggets are the team to beat this year, but some of these young squads might make some noise. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code JENKINS. New customers bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's code Jenkins only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. 